health uh, problems arise because the impacts of climate change and health benefits can arise from action to deal with climate change. M most of climate change is about water in some shape or form. Storms, floods, droughts, uh, uh, desertification, sea level rise and they profoundly affect the health of people. If you make it uh, more difficult to get access to clean water because the climate's changed on you, then people die from um, and get ill from polluted water. If women have to go further to get water, they not only lose time, of course, but they're in greater danger of being attacked. Changes in water dramatically affect uh, food output and agricultural incomes, and thus the ability to get access to food. So if you look at what happens through water, you see enormous effects or enormous impacts of climate change. You see the same if you look at the effects of uh, Hurricane Katrina on New Orleans or in the same year, the cyclone that hit Mumbai. Uh, people um, get killed by the effects of these storms. So if you see you know, millions at threat uh, from the droughts in Northeast Africa at the moment. So, Health, affecting, uh, health effects of climate change are very clear. There's one also further effect which is extremely important is that uh, climate change moves people. Um, the reasons we live where we live have to do with rivers, rainfall, uh, sea, seashores, ports and so on. If people have to move then that itself brings health benefits. We know from the history of HIV AIDS that the movement of people has a very big effect on the transmission of diseases and that's true for many diseases as well as, and this is fundamental, the conflict story because if people move it produces conflict and you know conflict is a huge risk to life and health. So these are all the reasons why climate change affects health. The other way around of course, what if we change the way we do things? Um, what if we have much more efficient use of energy? We'll have much less uh, air pollutants in the atmosphere? What if we find better stoves for people uh, to use? That means uh, that in in the in-hut or in-house pollution goes down. If people walk and cycle more, they are uh, healthier. If they eat diets which uh, are less intensive on meat, which has a, a major effect on climate change, they'll probably be more healthy uh, too. And also, you're likely to get a stronger sense of community, a sense of solidarity, because a lot of what you do involves doing things together. And we know, for example, the experience of the UK during the Second World War, that actually these kinds of processes of solidarity uh, reduce stress and increase health in that way. So the changing way of doing things uh, can have very powerful health effects, which we need to investigate much more. Do we have a sense of the health costs of climate change currently and the potential economic benefits of taking action? It's very difficult to come up with uh, an aggregate figure. But if you look at simply hundreds of billions of people likely to move, that will have a dramatic effect and reverse development. I mean, you could imagine that growth stops in the world as a result of the kind of movements you're talking about and the kind of conflict that takes place. And that, you know, it could be the difference between growth in the world at 2 or 3% and decline. I mean, those are immense, immense costs. And that's simply to do with the disruption associated with the massive movement of people and potential uh, extended and severe conflict. So it's very difficult to put a number on these things. But what we can say is that the risks are immense from going on as we are on health and that the health benefits of doing things in different ways are likely to be very large also. Nick, thank you for speaking to us.